Hey church, so as you know, last week the president announced our move to level one lockdown. And what that means for us as a church is that we can now finally be able to meet together for worship in a way that is a little more like normal. So we will be able to put 250 people in our auditorium in a socially distant way and be able to experience Sundays together again. Now we have a little bit of work to do before we can get to that uh, place. So firstly, we uh, got to prepare and make sure that our facility is safe for you and for your families. Secondly, we need to mobilize our teams of volunteers that all come together to make Sundays happen. And thirdly, uh, we still have some work to do uh, to make sure that while we are doing an in-person gathering, we can also do an excellent online service. So we realize that uh, for a lot of people, uh, they are not going to be able to make use of the in-person gatherings just yet. And it may be quite a while uh, until a lot of people uh, will feel comfortable coming back to public gatherings again. And we want to make sure that you can still feel as connected and as part of this church as you have felt in this time. Um, but at the same time, we also believe that this online platform that we have can strategically be used going forward as we try and, and reach our city. So the problem is, uh, currently I'm in this studio, which uh, was Jonathan's office that we refitted to become the studio during lockdown. And we moved all of our tech from the auditorium into the studio uh, to make our online services happen. And so if we want to be able to do both in-person gatherings and online gatherings, then we've got a little bit of a project that we have to do that we are busy doing in order to make sure that we can have as good, if not better than before, in-person worship gatherings and as good, if not better than before, online services as well. So what that means is we need just a couple of weeks to get ready for this. And so we have set our relaunch date, the day when we will have normal worship gatherings again as Sunday, the 18th of October. So that's not too long away. That's just a couple of weeks. It'll give us all the time that we need to get ready to gather together in a spectacular way, but also do online services um, in an incredible way as well. So there's a couple of details that we still need to just um, work on, but I can tell you that for now, uh, we are looking at having two services on that day. So one in the morning at half past nine and one in the evening at five o'clock. So the same time as our current sort of watch parties and, and online services and kids and youth and kind of anybody will be able to come to these services as you were used to be able to doing before lockdown. Now I can't tell you just how excited I am for this opportunity. Um, I've been really amazed at uh, how we've been able to still feel very connected together and hear from God and just see God do amazing things, even though we've been uh, distant and worshiping online together. But I have to tell you that there certainly is, as, as present as God is with individuals, there is a qualitative difference in our experience of the presence of God when the people of God gather together for worship. Uh, and I'm going to talk about that a little more on Sunday as we kick off our One Another series and look at all of the aspects of why togetherness is so important to the Christian faith. But for now, I want to leave you with this passage from Romans 1, verse 11 to 12. Uh, so as Paul is writing to this church that he is distant from, he says this, I long to see you so that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to strengthen you. That is, that we may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith, both yours and mine. It's really interesting. Paul is writing to them this amazing letter that is going to be a huge gift to them. He still says, I still long to be with you so that we can impart this gift to you and impart these gifts to you each other, meaning there just really is something special that happens when we gather together. And I know that we are going to experience that on the 18th. So we've got a little bit of work to do before then, but watch this space as we open up bookings and get ready for that day when we will gather back together again.